Do you know the Nigerian email scammers? They've been a lot less active lately. Because they've all been hired to run the Obamacare websites. That was the latest comic turn in the world tour of a one-man show known as Ted Cruz. And you should be forewarned that his act doesn't always live up to his actions. So despite leading a government shutdown that cost the nation $24 billion in lost economic output, but filled his own campaign funds with over a million fresh dollars, Mr. Cruz says he's simply doing what the people of Texas want. No matter where you go in Texas, if you're in East Texas, West Texas, up in the panhandle, or down in the valley, when you listen to Texans, the answer is the same, which is the top priority for Texans is bringing back jobs and economic growth. Here to tell us if Senator Cruz speaks for all of Texas is Congressman Mark Vesey, a Democrat representing the Dallas-Fort Worth area of that state. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you Hello, for joining Martin. us. Uh, so, Congressman, is this what your constituents want? Not more oh. affordable health care, not government programs designed to help the poor, the less fortunate. What they want is Ted Cruz shutting down the government for his own personal gain. Is that right? Just the contrary, Martin. Uh, in the district that I represent, uh, Congressional District 33 in Fort Worth and Dallas, uh, we have over 265,000 uh, uninsured Americans uh, that are constituents uh, in my district. Uh, they have a lot of questions about the Affordable Care Act. Uh, they want to be covered now, uh, and they would like for Congress to together uh, to make uh, it easy to enroll and easy to join uh, and and that's what we ought to be working on as a bipartisan a sensible solution uh, that can get all Americans covered okay well after being one of the main architects of a senseless government shutdown polls find that the more Americans know Ted Cruz the less they like him but again he insists he doesn't care about the rest of the country he only cares about Texas take a look at what he said yesterday the New York Times did a story, and then they began by saying, well, gosh, there are a lot of people in Washington unhappy that this Cruz fella is doing all this stuff. What, what do the people in Texas think? And the New York Times wrote this article where they said, holy cow, people in Texas actually like what this guy's doing. Yeah, uh, so with six million Texans lacking insurance, including the highest percentage of uninsured children, children in the nation, how do they view Ted Cruz's fight to make sure that they never get affordable health care? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure exactly which uh, Texans the senator is talking to, but uh, again, if you come to Dallas-Fort Worth area, uh, in addition to the 265,000 in the district that I represent, in the Dallas-Fort Worth metroplex alone, you're talking about over a million people. Uh, because the governor, uh, Rick Perry, failed to include Texas under Medicaid expansion, uh, you're talking about uh, another 60,000 uh, in the district that I represent, uh, and about a million statewide uh, that, that won't be covered under Medicaid expansion now. Uh, and it's considered really one of the biggest blunders that a uh, Texas governor has ever made by not uh, adding Texans onto that Medicaid expansion. And so uh, what I would say is that, uh, you know, come to Dallas-Fort Worth, uh, talk to some of the constituents that I represent uh, that want to enroll, uh, that have had questions. I've hosted two town halls, Martin, uh, on the Affordable Care Act. Uh, and I can tell you that people in Dallas they're very uh, eager to join. They're ready to join. And, uh, and we have a lot of people that are really uh, hurting out there that, that want coverage for Ab their families. Absolutely. So who is Senator Ted Cruz describing when he says he's doing the work that Texans want him to do? You know, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't talk to a lot of uh, Texans uh, uh, that, that, that he uh, runs across that feel that way. I mean, it's just uh, when you talk uh, to biz, small business people in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, uh, when you talk uh, to uh, single moms, uh, when you talk to people that are middle class and doing fairly well, everyone wants affordable coverage. Uh, and I can tell you that uh, I'm committed uh, to working in a bipartisan manner uh, to uh, not only making the Affordable Health Care Act better, uh, but improving it uh, as time goes on, because uh, that's the way uh, the Texans act. When you look back uh, in recent Texas history, uh, Democrats and Republicans, it didn't matter which party uh, that you belong to, people always try to work to make Texas a better place for all uh, and not just uh, a few uh, special interest individuals. Sure. Now, we know that there have been plenty of issues with health healthcare.gov, the website itself. Do you know 
of some of the difficulties that your own constituents have been facing? Because listening to you, sir, I imagine that there are large numbers of people who would really like to be able to get affordable health care. Uh, you've already described the governor's refusal to uh, include the, any kind of expansion of Medicaid, and so they're going to the government website. What kind of problems are they facing? Well, you know, obviously we're getting uh, similar uh, questions uh, as, it re uh, as it pertains to the glitches uh, in the district that I represent. But I can tell you, uh, by and large, uh, that people still have a lot of questions. Uh, because, uh, again, one of the a big political failure by our governor uh, was that we did not create our own exchange in Texas. We're part of the federal exchange. Right. And as a result of that, uh, a lot of Texans thought that they couldn't get coverage. Uh, and so myself and, and other Democratic congressmen in the state hosting town halls, we're going out into the community and informing people that they can enroll. So we still have a lot of people uh, asking questions about the Affordable uh, uh, Care Act uh, and, and not so much complaining about the glitches. Obviously, uh, people want to get past that. That's something that I'm committed to getting uh, past and working out, uh, just like we did on Medicare Part D. People forget about all the glitches in Medicare Part D. That was a, a Republican bill that was passed. Uh, but Democrats worked uh, with their Republican colleagues, uh, with AARP, with other organizations. Uh, to make sure that over a period of time that uh, Medicare Part D was something uh, that all Americans can be proud of. And it started out with a 21% disapproval rate, uh, and now seniors approve it by about 91%. That's the direction that I want to be going. Congressman Mark Vesey, sir, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Martin.